Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. Today we're going to look at uh, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, uh, particularly about the armor, a subclass for artificers. We're just going to take a, a really quick look at this, talk about what we like, and maybe a little bit of what we dislike. So I'm here with Vander. Overall, they really beefed up this bad boy a lot. You are really, you're, you can actually tank so much more as an artificer now. Uh, and obviously it's like looking at level 20 stuff, but um, even before then you have with infusions and the fact that you can attune to so many more magical items than others, you have a lot of versatility with what you can carry. And uh, they make it so at some point you don't even need to worry about class or race. Um, so if you wanted to attune to something that like only paladins or only a wizard could, you could and get the benefits from stuff like that. I don't know if like maybe DM specific, they make exceptions for like artifacts, but like if not, that means like an artifact that's made for a wizard comes on by, you get to, you can hold on to that sucker if you don't got one in your party. We kind of lost uh, what was going to be the gunsmith class, which turned into the artillerist. So now you have uh, the handheld gun or you have little like side cannons, um, but the armorers are our newest boy. Would you like to talk about it at all? Do you like Iron Man? That's what the armor class uh, subclass pretty much is. By their level, you're able to uh, create a, a magical armor around you, and then you get to choose uh, what two types, uh, infiltrator or guardian. And guardian's pretty much um, uh, kind of the, the tank in a sense, because you, you are able to um, have whoever your, your, or who your opponent is, have them force them to fight you, or else they'll get um, disadvantage if they try fighting someone else. Infiltrator, the other side of the coin, you have Lightning Launcher, which is basically like it's just Iron Man lasers. Like it's just literally Iron Man lasers, and you're faster. You don't fly yet. Uh, I'm sure that comes later on, but you have the Dampening Field, which basically makes you better at stealthing. So, like, if you put everything into strength and intelligence, you can still somehow not be awful at stealthing, which is. A nice change but these armors upgrade over time which is awesome and like you can infuse the armor with the different like you get up to six infusions by the end of it so like you could just keep making your armor more special and you have a retractable helmet that you can also infuse with stuff which is also awesome yeah i, I do like the uh that if you happen to pick a weapon that, that consider that it's, it's part of your armor and you could use your intelligence modifier uh, instead of your strength or dexterity instead. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, overall, it, it's a pretty cool subclass. Um, my, um, I think the only drawback, in my opinion, it's just a very tiny one, is that there's only two types that you can choose from, Guardian and Infiltrator, um, which they're, they're both great, but I, I, feel, I feel that eventually um, you, we're going to need some more down the line. Although the selections for armor models are limited, uh, armor modifications, the fact that you can uh, add things to your armor, the uh, diffuse item feature, uh, I think that that's really cool. It, 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 that way it creates some sort of a, you could make, you could be really creative with that. Um, uh, so that that's really cool. I'm glad they have that at least. I am very disappointed that I, I didn't see anything that let you get rocket boosters but i might have missed it um because that's like the one thing it's missing from being literally tony stark um but i think that's the one infusion it did not have no uh <laughs> wind, no wait winding uh winding path not flying okay uh yeah so just get some magical boots that you can infuse to yourself and then fly and then you are all set <laughs> so um if you ever wanted to create something like be like a magical Tony Stark, um, uh, a wizard Tony Stark. Uh, this is the subclass for you. Yeah, uh, Artificer definitely uh, changed up to specifically that with with the armor specifically. Uh, you still have Alchemist if you want to throw around like alchemical mixtures that can strengthen you or hurt your opponents. You have Artillerist if you want to have a bunch of little guns, and then you have Battlesmith if you want like a robot sidekick and some like melee options but this one kind of gives you that whole like very much you are an armored unit that can walk into battle and you can change the battlefield on depending on how you see fit between spells your infusions your magical items and where you decide to attack and use your features uh so you have a lot of options here 
not as many spells as you know a full caster but like do you need it at this point like <laughs> our viewers out there what did you think of this subclass uh what would you change um like and subscribe please support the channel and um have a good day <laughs>